All right, so let's play around with this form. Let's make this form look good. First of all, I want to I want these inputs to go, you know, one on top of the other, and I want them to have some space, and I want a submit button down here. All right, so let's go right click on it real quick, and let's see if we can style it here before we we do anything in the other side. All right, so the form right now, what do you think? Is is it too big? I think it's actually kind of big, right? So let's actually make this form a little bit um, less uh, wider. All right, so let's wide. So you see this element style? This is the this little element right here. So let's see with, I want this to be, I don't know, you can play around with the percentages or the pixels. It's up to you. I'm going to use pixels. I'm going to say 300 pixels. All right, that's going to put everything there. Let's do 500 pixels. All right. And let's put a border around it so that way we can see what's going on, right? So border, let's do two pixels, solid black. All right. Let's do some padding. And remember, padding is inside. So if you do 10 around it, 10 here, 10 there, and 10 there. You do top, right, top, right, bottom, left. All right? You can do a little bit more than that from the top. All right? Or the sides like this. All right? We're going to leave it at 10. All right? So let's look at it. All right. We can actually do this. Let's just say margin let's put some margin around it margin zero auto all right so we're centering it as you can see it's already centered perfect all right let's make this a little small and see what happens so i'm putting my cursor there and i just put in my arrow keys down that way it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller let's see Hmm. All right, we're going to leave it in 500. That's fine. All right. Now, remember that we need these fields on top of each other. How can we achieve that? Let's copy this, all this style here real quick to the form. And remember, we have a an ID for that container for the form. So, you can see that here. Let's go to styles or style. And let's just put a comment real quick. Comment, contact, contact page. And a good habit, you should get in the habit of actually putting an ID here, okay? because you might have other forms in other pages. So put that ID there, come back to your styles, and start targeting that. And I think that's an ID that we have, it's called form. All right, there we go, we put our brackets, curly brackets in there, save it. Make sure that you save your contact page, and let's go. Let's try that. All right, as you can see, no difference. That means that the styles applied to it. Now let's actually put this above each other. All right, these fields. All right. So this is the contact page. How can we make this on top of each other? All right. So let's put a paragraph tag. That's one way of doing it, right? If we could do this like this, and we do that for the rest of them. Let's first check on this tool, and then we'll see if that worked. And as you can see, it works, right? So we can use paragraph tags. That looks good, right? Let's copy. Let's do this one here. 
what about the text area? We can target the text area however we want, actually. This message here, oops. Text area, and we forgot an input for this. For Actually, that's the label for the text area, oops. Sorry about that, guys. I need my coffee. I haven't drank my coffee and I told you I was going to drink it but I'm trying to you know not drink as much coffee we need a label for that uh, message alright and since we are using HTML5 we can put a placeholder as well for our inputs so we can say this is the input name and we can say placeholder oops like this and we can say your name let's look at it but that's why we have labels right you see that we can do that if we wanted to all right everything is on the next line which is good now we need to style it a little bit more because really we this form is not looking pretty nice yet not, not that nice all right uh, one thing to keep in mind is also this contact uh, heading right here we could what we could do is center it make it put it right in the middle so let's do inspect element and we could do text align center and that's gonna center that all right so let's actually do that real quick And as a matter of fact, let's look at our homepage real quick. And I think we do have, we don't have any headings there, but we could make that heading centering all of them if we wanted to. That's the great thing about CSS, you know? All right, so contact. And we have this heading here. We can just say, put a class here and call that page heading. There we go save it go back to your styles and I, I believe that was a class that we created and let's align it oops that's align center there we go all right, and if anything else has that class, we should we should actually make that universal. If anything else has that class, uh, we'll take over it. We'll apply those styles. All right, so no difference there. Perfect. All right, we'll put some margin below it just to make sure. Let's just go ahead and test it out put some margin bottom and let's just put 20 pixels let's look at it real quick see how it looks all right perfect I think 20 pixels is good all right all right that's gonna apply to everything anything that has this class which is the beauty of CSS back in the day we HTML was you know you had to copy and paste all that stuff CSS uh, takes care of that. Perfect. Now, what I was thinking is actually making this a little bit more uh, 2.0, you know, a little bit more modern, this input fields. So in the next lecture, we're going to target this input field and make it look nice because we want a really cool contact form for customers that go into our websites or our visitors, right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.